setting up and using Blackboard Collaborate through the Blackboard Learn plugin. In any content area, uh, in this case the course homepage, you can insert a link to your Blackboard Collaborate scheduler by mousing over the tool button, going to more tools, and selecting Blackboard Collaborate Scheduling Manager. You'll then give the link a name. Blackboard Collaborate should do fine. We can make it a little more informative. You can add optional explanatory text and you can control availability of the link in the usual way. We'll just leave it wide open and click Submit. The Scheduling Manager link will be placed at the bottom of your content area and you can of course move it up to anywhere that you wish. Access the Blackboard Collaborate Scheduler just by clicking on the link uh, represented by the name you will see any currently scheduled sessions and a button that will allow you to create a new session. We'll look at that process briefly. Uh, once you click Create Session, you'll be asked to name the session. Uh, that can be anything you wish. You'll then be asked to set a start time and an end time for the session. The start time by default will be uh, within 15 minutes of the time that you uh, create the session. So we'll just leave that there. The end time can be just about anything up to the end of the semester or even beyond. Or it can be a realistic end time for a, an hour or two or less session. I'm just going to set this one to go to the end of the semester in this case, which will be August 9th in this case. And you can set the time using these sliders to be anything you wish. Uh, I'm not going to repeat this session, I'm just going to let it run indefinitely so that it's always available to me. And I can set the time. Uh, window within which students can access the session before the beginning time. The default is 15 minutes. You can set it up to an hour. You as the instructor can access the session at any time after it's created. Generally you won't need too many options. Let's just take a look at a few of these. Uh, the session type can either be a course session, which is limited to uh, students enrolled and faculty enrolled in this course, or you can share it among other courses and you can s specify additional sections among which to share it. So if you have multiple sections of the same course, they can all utilize the same Blackboard Collaborate session and participate in office hours or help sessions or whatever together. The default, of course, is a single course session. Under Telecourse on, uh, options, I recommend you just don't use the teleconference. It's not especially functional. That would be telephone uh, audio. Room attributes, there are a number of useful options here. You can set the room to record automatically, so you don't have to remember to hit the record button. Default is manual. You can set the default maximum number of people who can talk at one time. The default of three is usually pretty appropriate. Anything more than that can get pretty chaotic. Doesn't mean that the same three people can talk all, uh, only the same three people can talk all the time. Just means that only three simultaneous talkers are possible. And same with cameras, you can set that up to six if you wish. If you have multiple people using webcams. The rest of these are probably best left as they are. 
and you can s uh, set up to preload content in the session before you actually use it. It's just as easy just to go in and put the content in when you get ready to start. And under Roles and Access, you can set it so that all users, regardless of their status in the Blackboard course, join this session as moderators, giving them full control over the Blackboard Collaborate interface. You do this if you are setting this session up as a collaboration room for students to use on their own without your presence at times. You can set up a collaborate session for them to do that so they can go in, take the room, uh, and use it among themselves to perhaps collaborate on group work or whatever. In most cases that would be unchecked. You as the instructor would automatically be placed in the session as a moderator whereas the students would be in as just attendees and you can restrict access to the session based upon certain um, groups within your course. Normally you won't want to do that. Once you've set the options as you wish, simply hit save and while I was talking of course 845 passed so let me move that up a little bit and save. Ran my mouth for too long. Then the session is created, it appears on your schedule, and can be entered by you at any time and by the students within 15 minutes, in this case, of the nominal beginning time of the session. Once you're into the session, the operation of the Blackboard Collaborate interface is identical to uh, that for the CCC Confer tool, which is just Blackboard Collaborate accessed through the CCC Confer website rather than through Blackboard. And we have other tutorials showing how to do that. Good luck with Collaborate. I think you'll find it's an exceptionally powerful tool and very worthwhile to use.